Social Security Administration. How can I help? Yes, uh, I got a call. Somebody's using my Social Security number for illegal activities. Have you got the reference ID number for our department? No, they didn't leave no number, sir. Okay, if you haven't received any kind of reference ID number, can I have your last name so I can check it out for you? Last name is McFly. M C F L Y. M C F L Y. F L Y. McFly, Marty McFly. Now, uh, what is the first name? Marty, M A R T Y. M A R D Y. T Y, sir. T Y, Marty McFly. Spell out the first name. M A R T Y. Okay, and what is the zip code? One three one one eight. Sorry. One three one one eight. Okay. Oh, uh, can you hold for a moment? Okay. Uh, let me break in here for just a second. Sometimes in the comments, people ask, how come I don't do voices like Joe Scambade or some of the other folks? Well, you'll find out here because I can't even manage to keep my voice high throughout this video. So um, that's why I'm not a, I kid just can't pull it off. So that's the reason. Okay, back to the video. Just stay connected. Thank you. Okay. Can you please verify your social security number? Yes. Zero eight six one zero one four six three. Can I repeat? Zero eight six one zero one four six three. Okay. Thank you. Just stay connected. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hello. Okay. Um, do you know in which state your social was issued? New York State, sir. New York. Okay, and uh, between which year? 1950. 1950. Okay. Yes. Let me pull out the file for you. Okay. Just take an exit. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Okay, uh, Marty, right now you're talking to Agent Sam from the Social Security a Administration. How are you doing today? Yes. Okay, Sam. So how are you doing today? I'm okay, but I got this call. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. Uh, when did you receive the phone call today? Yeah, it was like 3.30. 3.30. I just got home. Okay. I was over to Doc Brown's. And I just got home. Okay. Uh, like, uh, what is that? Uh, we have received the notification to uh, block your social. As there is some criminal activities like drug trafficking and money laundering is going under your social. Do you have any idea about that? No, I wouldn't do that. No idea. That means uh, there is someone else who have access of your social, right? No, nobody. Okay. So let me ask you a few more questions before okay. I go ahead with the information. Have you ever been to the south border of Texas? No. Nope. Have you ever rented a car? No. Nope. Under your name? No. Nope. Have you ever lost your identity? State ID, driving license, social yes, security card, something like that? Yes. In, in 19, which year? In 1990, I lost my wallet. I was thinking about going back to get it. Yeah, I was going to go back and get it. Okay. And uh, have you made the complaint when you lost your identity? No, I was just going to go back and get it. Okay. Doc's going to so give I me a ride. You're talking. Doc's going to give me a ride to go get it. Where did you find it? Where it was. Where's what? You lost your wallet, you told, right? Yes. How did you find it? I haven't found it yet, but I know where it is, I think. You lost and found. Lost and found, yeah. Okay. I lost in 1990. Doc Brown's going to give me a ride back to get it. Okay. Like, uh, have you ever misplaced your social somewhere while filling the online forms, any kind of survey? No. I don't even carry it with sure? me. It was in my wallet, of course, but I got a new card in 1991. Okay. You mean to say you have never misplaced, right? No, never. Okay. Uh, that means this is the case of identity theft. Someone has stolen your identity or someone has hacked down your personal information, and they have done the criminal activities like drug trafficking and money laundering. And that's the reason we have got an order to suspend or block your social at this right moment. 
Uh, let me read out the affidavit for you. It will make you understand where and how your source will be used and what can be done to get rid from this kind of criminal activities in the future. Okay. 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 So what happened that uh, the investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contained some blood and drugs residues oh. inside it. And then after an investigation we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information was linked over there. It was rented to there me? Was two under your name. Marty McFly? I did not say to you. Oh, no, I never rented a car. Nothing. And uh, like it was rented under your name. Okay. And also there was two address which was weighed by U.S. Marshal. But unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. But we have recovered like some pounds of cocaine. Some pounds? Some people, uh, sorry? Some pounds? Some pounds? Yes. Oh. You didn't batter the way. Pounds of cocaine. Uh, around uh, like uh, 22 to 25. Oh, okay. Okay. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. I'm listening, sir. That means uh, you're not the one. You mean to say that you're not the one? Of course I'm not the one. No. Okay. Uh, shall I proceed ahead with the case a bit? Go ahead. Where? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Try to listen carefully, okay? Once I'm, I'm done. I'm trying, I'm trying. Give you can. Okay. Go ahead. I don't think so. I'm talking to the right person. Can you please verify me at address? Verify your address. 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York. 13118. Uh, what do you say? 52 Walnut Street? Uh, no, I said 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York. 100? Main Street, Moravia, New York, Main. 13118. Moravia, okay. So, uh, right, the reason of this phone call is just to take down your intention. Like, uh, as we have checked your past record, we found that you're not the one, okay, who has done this kind of criminal no, activity. not me. There might be someone else who has done this kind of criminal activity by using your personal information. But uh, you are a primary suspect. But okay? I didn't do it. How but can I be a primary suspect? You just said I didn't do it, sir. You, you, your social is being used. But you it wasn't me. understand that your social is being used. Huh? It's yours. And your responsibility uh, to protect your social security number. Well, I can't help. I lost my wallet in 1990. Uh, and I'll... Like right now, our job is just to notify you and give you all the information and help you in this situation. Okay. Okay. Before we, before we block your social and you face the legal consequences. I don't want to face right the now, legal consequences. Right now, this recorded line. My question to you at this point of time okay. is that: Do you like to cooperate with the federal government and help us what so I we can go do? ahead and find the real culprit? Should I go back and get my wallet? I'm asking you, do you like to cooperate with us so we can go ahead and find the real culprit? I don't know what I got to do, sir. What do you thing? want me to do to cooperate? I'm here to let you know everything step by step. Okay, okay? step by step. Just I'll go. Your intent. Okay. Do you like to cooperate? Yes or no? Yes, I'll cooperate. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, let me tell you, like, uh, canceling the charges which has been pressed under your name, it's not at all an easy task, okay? First of all, we need to suspend your social right away and have to issue a new one. So that in the I future, you can be one. safe I, and secure. I, st I just got used to my old one because I lost it. Oh, boy. But the old social security number is been stolen. Uh, have the access by someone else. Okay. And they have done the criminal activities. Okay, that's the reason. We need to suspend the old one and I have to issue a new one. Okay, so I'll get a new one. Okay, mail me, mail me the new one, sir. Sir, that's not how the government works. There oh, are certain terms and conditions you need to follow. As I told you, you need to cooperate with us. We will go step by step. Okay, okay? let's go. First of all, we need some of the assessed verification from you. And we need to submit to the court. So, as you know, the bogus people has linked your social with the new bank accounts like Bank of America, U.S. Bank and Chase Bank. Oh. They have linked your social with the new bank account and they have transferred thousands of dollars from the bank oh account. My. Okay. So we need the access 
verification yes, funds. Yes, verification. Like, uh, okay. What do you need? Uh, like the house which you are living is your own or you are a rented one? No, I, I, I rent. I live in a senior center. That you are a rented one, right? Yes, yes. I'm in a senior center. And you live uh, by yourself or you live with your family? No, I live by myself. You live alone, okay. And uh, are you employed or? I'm retired, sir. You're sir. retired. Okay, how many vehicles do you have under your name? One. It's under your name, right? Yes, well, really it's under Doc Brown's name, but I use it. Okay, and uh, to which bank you are banking with? Titty Bank. Titty Bank. Titty Bank. Sorry, I did not got you. You did not got me? Titty Bank. Pardon me? Okay, and do you have uh, like other... Huh? Hello? Yeah, hello. You are banking with Titty Bank? Yes. And uh, do you bank with other banks? No, just Titty. Well, uh, no. Okay, what type of accounts do you have in TD Bank? Saving, taking? Yes, both of them. Both the accounts, saving and taking, right? Right. Okay. And uh, do you have any kind of credit card under your name? Yes, I have a visa. Visa. Now, what is the limit of this uh, credit card? I think it's 6000 Okay, and uh, what is the balance available in this uh, visa credit card? All of it. I don't know anything. I pay it off every month. Okay, still available. Yeah, Doc told me. Make sure you pay that off, Marty. Okay, and what is the balance available in the uh, Chitty Bank uh, saving account? Savings, I have probably 1000 mm -hmm. And what about the checking? 500 And uh, do you have any kind of uh, 401k plan? No, they didn't have them when I was worked. No investment plan? No. Can you hold for a moment sure. so I can update to the okay. higher authorities? Okay, tell the higher authorities. Okay. Just stay connected. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Yes, hello. Okay, I have updated to the court and I got the notification that the court has already given an order to freeze all the bank accounts or the credit card, whichever linked with your social. Not my, not your my bank account, account so, right? But we cannot differentiate. They are like a U.S. bank. Well, I don't bank have anything. The, I only use Titty Bank. Your bank account is going to be frozen. Oh, okay. I don't know what to buy, but so how do I get my money? As uh, you are a law-abiding citizen, we have one option yes. for you that is called Safety Locker. Safety Locker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about that? No. You have never heard? Never heard of a safety locker, no. Safety locker means uh, you need to protect your uh, fund, whatever you have in your checking account or the saving account for 24 hours. And after that, uh, once we register a new social security number for you, then uh, one of the officers will be coming at your place to provide you the new social security number. And once you get the new social security number, your account will be reactivated and your money will be transferred back oh, to the okay. account. Okay. But for 24 hours, you need to uh, protect those funds into a safety locker. Why don't I just get the money out and bring it home? But you cannot keep, uh, no, no, you cannot keep uh, by yourself. I can't. Because if the investigation team will reach, then uh, huh? it might be a problem for you. Oh, it might be, okay. Because there is a case of money laundering and drug trafficking. Okay. Well, what do I have to do, Agent Sam? You need to protect this uh, to a safety locker. Uh, okay. Where's the safety locker at? Safety locker is just uh, a type of a uh, coupon bond, which you'll be getting from a like a nearby government certified store. Do you have any kind of government certified store near to you? Got the post office. No, it's not a post office. It well, that's a, be, government, uh, government, that's a government store, store sir. No, no, no. We are not talking about the post office. What are we talking about? We are about? talking like, uh, like uh, the Dollar General. Dollar General. 
Yeah, we got one mm -hmm. of them, but I didn't know it was a government store. It's a certified store. Oh, it's certified, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have one? Yeah, Dollar General, sure. We got one of them. What is the distance of the store? Distance? So it's probably a couple miles away. And, uh, it's, over not there on Elm it's over on Elm Street. Yeah, right it's over on Elm. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yes, you need to uh, like go to the government certified store near to you and you need to get a carbon bond. I can't go right now. Doc's got the DeLorean. Then I cannot help you out. I can't get there without the DeLorean. <laughs> it's your choice. If you want to uh, secure a fund to a safety locker, then you need to go to the government certified store. Or else... How about if I just tell you to go fuck you're, yourself? You're, you're, How about that, you scam and it bastard? It won't be possible. Huh? I said it won't be possible. Our job is just to... It won't be possible for you to go fuck yourself? <laughs> it won't be possible. How hmm? come? You can't fuck yourself? But you're no. a scamming Can bastard. You should be able to do anything, you dumb fuck. You piece of shit. <laughs> you sewer diving fool. Y'all done stupid? Fun with you, man. Huh? We are looking for the stupid one. You're looking for a stupid one? Mm hmm For what? Somebody to take your place? <laughs> He's... Huh? Is that one of the requirements to work there? You gotta be stupid? Hey, old man. You have just uh, a few years left. You're going to die soon. Yeah, I'm sure I will. But you know what? I won't be a thief. I'll die an honest man, <laughs> you fuckstick. You don't sound like... Do I have to screw you into the fucking ground, you thieving bastard? You can't do that. I can do anything I want. No, you can't. Yeah, I can, not you fucker. You know nah. what? I hate scammers. I fucking hate you people. I mean, I hate you. I appreciate it. I hope you get hit by a fucking bus on the way home. Oh, my God. Yeah, that hold me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sure you're <laughs> a big believer in God, you thief. You don't believe in God? I do. I also know that you're a mm -hmm. thief, so you therefore you can't believe in God. Okay. Have a great day. Hey, go fuck yourself. Bye-bye. Fuck yourself. You too. You Bye -bye. scamming bastard. Motherfucker. <laughs>